We're taking the amazing flavors of bouillabaisse and using techniques I learned working at Michelin star restaurants to create a modern bouillabaisse dish. For the fish, use a flaky white fish like rockfish or sea bass. I'm using Lou de Mer, the French name for bronzino. Start by inserting the tip of your knife into the vent by the pelvic fin. Move your knife up the belly of the fish towards the head. Then use your hand to remove the entrails. Run your knife along the spine of the fish to break the air bladder. Then rub your finger down the spine under running water to remove all the blood. To prevent scales from flying everywhere, I use a Japanese technique known as sukupiki. Using a sharp knife, cut in between the skin and the scales towards the head. After doing this to the whole fish, run your knife along the fish to ensure all the scales are removed. To fillet, cut in between the gill plate and the body at an angle on both sides. Then, pull the head back to remove it. Use the heel of the knife to cut the rib bones, resting the back of the knife on the spine. Cut all the way down to the tail. Repeat on the other side to remove the second fillet. Flip the fillet over and remove the rib cage and belly. Then, use fish tweezers to remove the pin bones. Cut the flays in half on a bias and trim them so that they have even cuts. Split the head in half using the heel of the knife, then push the eyes to remove them and the brain. Rinse in cold water to remove any blood to make a cleaner fish stock. Set aside the flays, trim, and bones. To clean the clams, purge them in cold salted water for 30 minutes to remove any sand. This isn't necessary for mussels, but I like to remove the beard before cooking. Right before you cook them, check for any open ones by holding them shut for five seconds. They will open to breathe, but if they never close, they are dead and should be tossed. Measure out four ounces of water, one ounce white wine, two strips of lemon peel, three sprigs of thyme, one bay leaf, and one garlic clove smashed. Heat a wide pan with a lid over high heat. Once it starts to smoke, add the clams and mussels, followed by the cooking liquid. Cover the pan to steam them, and as soon as they open, individually remove them from the pan. Use a spoon to remove the meat from the shell. For the clams, be sure to remove the abductor muscle. The frill, then cut the bottom of the clam to empty the stomach. They eat way better this way. For the mussels, Make sure the abductor muscle is removed and cut out the siphon with any remaining beard. Save the clams, mussels, cooking liquid, and trim off to the side. Remove the abductor muscle from the side of the scallops. Scallops have a small side and a large side that slopes down. One thing that we always did at the Modern is place the scallops large size up with the slopes all facing the same way. It's all about attention to detail. For the shrimp, run your fingers along the legs from the tail towards the head. Remove the shell right above the tail, causing the rest of the shell to come off easily. Break the shell and pull on the tail to remove. Using scissors, cut the tail, allowing you to easily pull out the vein with tweezers. Insert a skewer into the shrimp to keep it straight while it cooks. For the broth, heat up a large pot with some oil. I use avocado on a medium high heat. Add the shrimp shells and cook until they turn bright pink. Peel a carrot and cut in a half inch pieces along with a head of fennel and the white and light green parts of a leek. Add the carrot, fennel, and leek into a pot along with two cloves of smashed garlic. Cover with the lid, cooking on medium low heat until tender. Add in some more oil if needed with two large pinches of saffron and two pinches of espalette. Espalette is a chili pepper from the Basque region, but can be substituted with one pinch of cayenne. Lightly toast the spices, then chop up the tomatoes and add to the pan. Cook until au sec or almost dry, about two minutes. Add in the bones with trim, the shellfish liquor with trim, three quarts water, and two ounces of Pernod. This is a French liquor with an anise flavor. It's very good, but kind of expensive, and can be substituted with a dry wine or vermouth. Cook this for 30 minutes at a light simmer before adding in fennel fronds, thyme, bay leaf, 
and lemon zest for the last 15 minutes. Place a colander over a large bowl to strain the stock. Let the stock strain for 5 to 10 minutes, then strain through a fine sieve. Traditionally, you would blend everything before straining, which adds a nice body to the stock. However, for our sauce, blending it would make it too thick. Set this off to the side. Bouillabaisse is best served with rouille, a mayonnaise flavored with garlic and saffron. To start, roast a red pepper on your stove, under a broiler, or torch the skin until it is completely charred. To help loosen the skin, place this in a covered container to steam. Pull off the top of the pepper and remove all the skins and seeds. I like to rinse the pepper to make sure that everything is removed. To make blending easier, Thinly slice one garlic clove and dice half the bell pepper, adding to a food processor with one egg yolk, a small pinch of saffron, smoked paprika, and blend. Then drizzle in 8 ounces of extra virgin olive oil. Traditionally, this is made in a mortar and pestle, but a food processor or blender will give you a smoother texture. Pass this through a sieve, then place into a squeeze bottle or piping bag and set aside in the fridge. To soak up the amazing broth, bouillabaisse is traditionally served with crusted bread. We are going to refine this with a saffron twill. To a bowl, add a tablespoon's worth of saffron and around a teaspoon's worth of smoked paprika. According to Serious Eats, the best temperature to bloom saffron is between 160 to 100 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit or 71 to 76 degrees Celsius. Add seven ounces of hot water to the spices and steep for five minutes. Using a hand blender, incorporate three and a half ounces of vegetable oil and one ounce of flour. Then strain. I am not a fan of nonstick pans, no matter what, they always seem to get scratched, but they are necessary in order to make this twill. Heat an 8 inch nonstick pan on medium heat using a 2 ounce ladle or a fourth cup. Add the batter to the pan and cook until the twill is set. Then flip the twill over and cook the top for about 20 seconds. Place the final twill on a paper towel to remove any excess oil. Just like making crepes, the first one never turns out right. You might have to slightly adjust the amount of or consistency of the batter to get them perfect. But we'll be breaking these into pieces, so as Lincoln Park says, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Arguably, the most important component of bouillabaisse is the broth. So how do we refine it while keeping all the same flavors? Normally, we want to remove all the excess protein and fat, but by leaving it, we can improve the body of the sauce. Use a hand blender to emulsify the stock, then add 12 ounces to a pot and reduce by half. To prevent cooking off the aromatic flavors, reduce as quickly as possible. Add in 1.5 ounces of extra virgin olive oil with 5 grams soy lecithin and blend. To prevent over seasoning the foam, first add lemon, then follow with salt if needed. Hold the hand blender at a slight angle to incorporate air into the foam, then stir off to the side. Place some smoked paprika oil onto a tray or pan and add the fish, seasoning the flesh side and brushing the top with oil. Place into a 250 degree Fahrenheit or 171 degree Celsius oven until just cooked through, about 12 minutes. To make the smoked paprika oil, place half an ounce of smoked paprika into a blender with four ounces of neutral flavored oil. I'm using avocado. Blend until the container becomes warm, then let the oil sit on the paprika, ideally overnight. Warm the broth on low heat, season the shrimp and scallops, then add them to the broth, cooking on a gentle heat. The shrimp will take around one minute, with the scallops taking two. Flip the scallops halfway through. Remove the skewers from the shrimp and slice the scallop in half across the middle. In order to prevent fishing out the clams and mussels, heat them in a small pot just until warm. Under a low broiler, warm up the plates along with the bass, scallops, and shrimp just until warm, about 15 seconds. To plate, give the warm foam a buzz, 
Then place onto the plate. Top the fish with some malt and salt. Then add the lou de mer. Place two shrimp down with the scallops in the middle of the plate with three mussels and three clams around. Follow up with five dots of ruil, smoked paprika oil, three pieces of saffron twill, then garnish with fennel fronds and fennel flowers. These are the flavors of bouillabaisse. It's just constructed to be more of a fine dining dish. Everything ate very well. The one thing that it would change is when I cooked the fish, I would cook it with the skin side up. If you enjoyed this dish and you wanna see Anthony Bourdain's recipe, you gotta see my friend Mitch's video here next.